What is up everyone? Welcome back to your daily dose of Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Death, and today we are playing Tychus. Let's get into a game. Well, it's about damn time. Alright, today we are duking it out in Tomb of the Spider Queen. My team, Rhaegar, Vala, Tychus, Murky, Murden, enemy team, Lily, Sylvanas, Artanis, Nova, and Johanna. Okay, so typically when it comes to Tychus, I showcase the, the more tankier Q build uh, where you boost up your overkill. But today, there's been a build that's been floating around that I really wanted to give a solid go. And that is going to be the auto attack build. So, for our first time, we're going to change things up. We're taking Regeneration Master. Um, collecting regen globes are going to give us some permanent regen uh, that's going to help us heal up while outside of fights. Now, the reason we're going with that as opposed to the uh, the boosting of the overkill is because we're actually not going to be taking a lot of defensive talents in favor of taking auto attack talents. So we are going to be um, basically foregoing those and instead taking a, a bit more of a uh, defensive talent for the first one. There's the Nova. Okay. So we gotta run. I'm in bad shape. But we're gonna get out of there. <laughs> and we got a Nova out of it. I'm just gonna go back and uh, heal up completely and then come back out the lane. There's no point in me tapping. I'm too far down. And if the Nova just came back, she'd just kill me off immediately. So we're gonna try and get, out, get back here and hopefully not lose out on this globe. So we're gonna get here and we're gonna be fine. We'll be able to get the globe, no problem. Alright. So our ability is really quick. Q is called Overkill. This is a targeted ability that is going to allow you to basically uh, spin up the gun and deal some damage um, to a person and anyone in that area. It's like a cone attack, and you focus on that in, in that on that target. Now here's the kicker: um, you can change targets if you need to. So if say uh, your target gets out of range or or something like that, like that you can actually shift targets and uh, continue to deal damage. Our W is called Frag Grenade. This is a skill shot that does some area damage and will knock the target. Walk the walk. Oh. Will knock the target away from the center point. Uh, just remember that, along with lots of knock knockbacks, if you are going to throw it at somebody and you're chasing them, just be sure that you're not going to throw them away to to live. Um, <laughs> if you do get it in front of them, though, you can throw them back to you. So that's pretty cool. Sure thing. And our E is called Run and Gun. This is basically just a dash. Think of it like that. That's what it is. Um, you're going to be able to um, dash away and um, get out of the danger. But here's the big thing is it actually helps uh, you wind up the minigun instantly. And that's your trait. Okay, so for this talent here, we're going to be taking Vampiric Assault. So again, we're taking another defensive talent because we're going to be lacking those defenses later on. So like I said, Minigun, what this does is, um, basically after four auto attacks, you're going to have a maximized Minigun, so it's going to be increasing your attack speed. And if you pop the Running Gun, it's just going to increase it immediately. So like I said, it stacks up to four times, giving you a pretty fast auto attack. So just, uh... All right. So that's where uh, Tychus' main um, benefit comes from, that that minigun. Now, he doesn't do as much damage as some other heroes with his auto attacks, but he still does a fair amount. Okay. Like I said, we're going to go back. Oh, no. Not worth, buddy. All right, we're just going to stick in lane then. Get some healing from our auto attacks. As you can see, the auto attacks are incredibly fast. I'm kind of concerned sitting out here with this low health um, that a Nova might come and just off me. Alright, I need to go back. We're kind of getting each other's way over here, which is unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna head back. Get back out here and. We're gonna miss this this orb, this globe, but that's okay. Whatever it takes. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, so to reposition the minigun, all you have to do is hit the Q button, and you can target somebody else with it. So we're going to turn our four in, and for this talent here, we're taking rapid fire. So, um, basically the minigun, it spins up, and it gives you four stacks. Um, this is going to give you two additional stacks, so this is going to increase our auto attacks by just that much more. Now, here's another thing to note about the minigun is uh, the debuff lasts and as long as you are continuing continuing to attack. Um, and the second you stop auto-attacking, it will go on a three-second uh, timer. Um, if you get another auto-attack out, it will put that timer back up to three seconds. But if you don't, um, you'll lose the benefits of your minigun. You'll have to spin it back up again. So this way you can move and fire and do all that other fun stuff. Alright. So the unfortunate part about uh, about the auto attack build is you do lose out in the frag grenade, which means you're you're not gonna be pushing nearly as hard as you could be uh, with with another build. All right, we're just gonna back out. Alright, we do need to back out completely here. Ouch. Alright, so we did get a fort in the bottom lane. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go back once again. Oh, looks like we're going to fight. Never mind, I'm just going to tap. Alright, for her, we're taking Dragon Laser Drill. Now, this is a personal thing for me. I prefer the Laser Drill over Odin just because Odin, you just lose all of the benefits of all the talents you picked up. Even some of the auto attack ones, which is unfortunate. So I prefer the, the laser drill. And the way the laser drill works is you put this thing down and it, can, it has a health pool, it can be attacked, but you can focus this thing on somebody and it's going to deal some pretty decent damage to them as long as it sticks to that target. You can then reposition the drill, or not reposition it, but have the drill target somebody else if you need it to or if you want to. Alright. Getting a bunch of kills here. Oh no, Merc down. <laughs> Time to make my retreat. That is a terrible place to back, dude. <laughs> that was such a bad place to back. Okay, so as you guys can see, the idea of this build is we are trying to um, basically use our def our good defenses on in early on, and most of the damage or most of the the benefit of this build is from a sustained attacks. So that's the idea. We want sustained attacks on the enemy, and that's where we're going to be dealing a lot of our damage and getting a lot of our survivability from. Okay. I wanted to make sure uh, they went down. All right. I wanted to make sure she went down, so I dropped the drill just to ensure that happened. All right, she's got a bunch on her as well. All right, she's using jugs. Okay. Well, I mean, we need to kill her, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But we're we're expending a lot of resources. Twenty six gems is that's that's a lot of gems to lose. It's a lot of gems to lose. I agree, Murky. Very very weird. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn in. Our lanes are pushed pretty far in, so we're gonna go ahead and get get this turn in here. Um, we need what is this? Eight more gems. Eight more spider booties. 
All right, at this talent tier, we are taking Problem Solver. Now, this is where uh, Tychus sort of becomes a tank killer in a way. Um, all of his auto attacks are going to get the giant killer buff, except it's slightly different because uh, Tychus' auto attacks are super, super fast. So they actually minimize how much you're going to be getting for that. Um, instead of it being 1.5% of the target's health, you're only doing 0.5. But you can see, I am just melting Johanna. Just melting her. Alright, yeah, get those coins. Alright. Get those gems, sorry. Gems, gems. He really likes to back in the most unusual places. <laughs> wow. Alright, we're gonna go to the top lane. Try and get on this globe. At least one of them. Alright, she's getting away. She put her unstoppable up. I can come down and help you guys with this. We'll get this down very quickly. Nicely timed. Well, an extra push. Okay, so, if we had a way to lock Johanna down, we'd be in good position, but unfortunately she's being a slippery little heel and getting out of there. Alright, Lily wants to come in from the side, we will go ahead and just deal some damage to her. I'm all alone! Alright, we're gonna back out. I'm looking for a good spot to use the drill. There we go. We can keep her locked down for even just a little bit. Alright, we're gonna deal some more damage here. Oh, she's stunned, she's going down. That problem solver mixed with his just insane auto attack speed makes for a lot of damage on those tanks. Okay, at this talent tier, we're gonna be taking. Uh, locked and loaded. We're going to get 15% increased movement speed while our minigun is spun up. So one of the problems that uh, Tychus has is that uh, if there's a lot of movement involved, his minigun's not going to have a lot of... Uh, not going to help you out a lot. But... Just going to... Get close enough to get that gem. Or the, the globe. But the kicker here is that with the increased movement speed, uh, we'll be able to keep the minigun spun up a little bit longer, um, hopefully. A little bit longer. Okay, we're getting split here. We're getting split. That's not the real one. No, it actually was the real one. Take that! I cannot believe that was the real one. That was... Insanely surprising. Alright, I'm coming up here. This is getting... <laughs> this is sad. Okay, just let her go. <laughs> well, we got a heroic out of her. That was just sad. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay. Our team is up here fighting. Yeah, I agree. We should take we're gonna take this now. Oh, looks like we're gonna fight instead. They're still gonna have that Lily. Didn't hear no magic word. Lily is incredibly tough to catch. She really, really is. We're spending an insane amount of time trying to get her.
Alright, she's gonna go down now. So much time spent to get her. Whew. These are the kind of mistakes that uh, people make when they're ahead. Is they'll sit there and they'll chase down the one person. Um, and it just does not help your team out at all. Okay. Don't give them the chance to catch up. Keep the pressure on. Let the Lily run around if that's what she really wants to do. Alright, getting on our Artanis here. Getting out of that. Is that the real one again? I think it is. Alright. I'm going to get my three turned in right... Alright, Jugs has been popped. That means she's not going to have it after this. It's a pretty decent cooldown. We should actually just take advantage of this and... Take this camp or push or something. I feel like we're just we're we're chasing people too much. Let's do this. Alright. So there you go, you see the uh, the auto attacks there just doing tons of work. Alright, switching targets. There we go. Alright, we have web weavers pushing in. We should just be able to end this now. This should not This should not go any on it on any longer. Murky can chase Lily all she all he wants. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and drop the drill. We're gonna put it back far enough where it can actually attack. Have it focus on the core. This is GG. There's nothing they can do to stop this. I put it too far back. It's getting hit by the, uh, the tower over there, but that's okay. And there we go. GG. So, this is, this is a lesson learned for everyone out there. When you are ahead like that, do not, do not do what we were doing. Do not run around and chase the one character that's trying to lead you away, that's going to allow the Nova to get picks, or that's going to allow their team to somehow come back into it and uh, take somebody out, or push a lane, get a fort, something like that. Let the person run around. They're not doing anything. It's a Lily. She's not going to be able to take any structures down. Continue to push and just keep the pressure on. She will have to respond to you or they lose. That's all there is to say about that. So just keep that in mind when you guys are playing. Don't do what we did there and chase her down. Okay, here are the stats really quick. This was a pretty quick game. Um, the talents that we went with today, um, like I said, I'm a bigger fan of the other, the Q, um, the Q build where you sort of build up, you get first aid and stone skin, but this one's still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. If you play a lot of Tychus, I would highly recommend giving this one a shot. Um, especially if you're fighting on an enemy, uh, fighting enemies that have big tanky characters like Johanna and Artanis, because you just melt them. Uh, this is really, really good against Cho'Gal um, and his massive health pool. You can just eat away at his health. Um, if the enemy has no tanks on them or they're missing something like an Asthma Dan or something like that, where there's not that many people with a lot of health, this doesn't do as well just because the amount of damage you're dealing is. You you might you'd probably get a lot more out of your with the Q build. So obviously build towards uh, defeating the enemy. But anyway, here's the build today. We went with Regen Master at level one because we're not taking as many defensive talents later on. So we're getting the defenses defensive talents in early. Uh, that's also the same with four Vampiric Assault, basic attack healing for 15% of damage dealt to the primary target. Again, you're not dealing a ton of damage, but uh, your attacks are happening very fast. So you guys can see when I was doing a lot of sustained damage there, um, my health was steadily increasing. And that's what you're looking for with Tychus' auto attack build. Rapid fire at 7. This allows the minigun to stack. Instead of 4 times, it stacks now to 6 times, further increasing your attack speed. And this just plays very well into the first, uh, I'm sorry, the level 4 talent that's just going to give you a lot more uh, healing then. And it's going to get a lot more damage out there. Now 10, Dragon Laser Drill. This is a personal preference of mine. I just prefer the drill for almost every single uh, map. It has a ton of uses. Um, I may have probably used Odin a bit more during this map just because of the nature of it. But at level 10, I wasn't sure what we were going to be looking at. Uh, the only two times I did use the, the Laser Drill were kind of questionable at best. Um, the drill can only hit people it can see. 
um, and it does have a radius around it. Typically at 20, I would take the focusing diodes, which is going to increase the range of the Draken laser drill. And if it's hitting a target, it will deal increasingly uh, more damage the longer it stays in that target. Uh, but on this build, you're not going to be taking that, and I'll go over that in just a second. At 13, we took Problem Solver. This is the um, Giant Killer for Tychus. Instead of 1.5%, it's 0.5% of the hero's maximum health and damage bonus, uh, bonus damage. So uh, this is going to allow you to deal more damage to those tanks and just eat away at their health super, super fast. Uh, 16, we took Lock and Load because one of the biggest problems that Tychus has is that um, if enemies are running away, you're not going to be getting as many shots off. And therefore, you're not getting the most out of the minigun. So by keeping the minigun spun up, you're, you're getting a lot more movement speed uh, and able to chase those guys down and deal some damage. And you did see I was still using the Q to chase, and that's still the optimal way to go. Um, the lock and load is for those sustained uh, team fights where you need to reposition and stuff like that. It's going to allow you to keep the, the minigun up so you can get over there quicker, um, get set up, keep the minigun rolling, and keep the damage rolling. At 20, there are there, there are two options you can go with at 20. You could always go Bolt of the Storm. You could also go Focusing Diodes. But honestly, the best bet for you to go is Nexus Frenzy. This is going to further increase your attack speed, and it's going to increase your attack range. Tychus has a pretty small attack range, in my opinion, compared to a lot of the other bigger damage dealers out there. Um, like Rainer is, is a pretty prime example as far as auto attack heroes go. And this just gives him a lot more range on his auto attacks, and that attack speed is very nice. It fits very, very well into the rest of his auto attack kit. He's going to be attacking so fast, it's crazy. It's crazy. I wish I could have shown you guys what it looked like at level 20. I would highly recommend you guys give this build a shot, though. It's a lot of fun. Um, that being said, I'm still just, I'm still a much bigger fan of the, the overkill, or building up the Q and making him a bit more of a tanky assassin. And... I mean, I know, I know Odin has its place, and I know a lot of people really do like Odin, but I'm just such a big fan of the laser drill. Um, it's just, it can do so much damage, and it's like putting another piece on the playing field that the enemy has to either get out of or are forced, are forced to deal with, and if they don't, they just get melted by this thing. It just does so much damage. And here's the biggest part about it is that it, all of your talents are still there. You can have this thing focus somebody else while you're focusing down a tank, or you know you can have you can be focusing on the same target because you can individually target this thing or independently target this thing. It it can just do so much damage, and it can actually zone somebody out. So if there's like a Lieutenant Morales trying to heal, you can zone her out of the fight completely, which which negates her altogether. But um, like I said, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.